Hey, welcome to YouTube. <laughs> Join us on our three-day camping trip in the Pacific Northwest where we forage for fresh seafood and prepare the catch right over the fire. Enjoy some spearfishing, crab trap and hand harvesting action as we explore the coast by boat. Oh my god. Let me show you what I got. Good morning. I got big news. I'm super excited. Last week we were finally successful in finding a trailer for my little inflatable thing. And this weekend is the weekend where we are finally going to take it out. And as you can see, I bought a crab trap. I'm gonna go for Dungeness this weekend. And yeah, we're just packing the car up. Um, since it's a lo long weekend this weekend, um, we're going camping. There's the bed underneath and uh, we're just waiting for our friends to arrive. And then we're gonna head out and gonna go a little bit up north. Not far, but a little bit. Uh, find a nice little campsite somewhere right at the ocean. And then, um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, catch and cook right at the camp. So if that's something for you, hang on. water woman wow so we're here we're <laughs> gonna set up camp now and then uh, yeah go from there the boat is right here um, we're gonna clear this area here and then uh, just push it into the ocean it almost looks like it was a boat launch if that doesn't work there's an actual boat launch uh, like 100 meters that way, so uh, we're gonna be fine. How are you feeling, Yuza? I like that, <laughs> Queen. Wait, before you let me into the ocean, how do we use this engine? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't step there, man. What about, <laughs> what about you, Paul? You're supposed to jump in. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one. <laughs> ah, I made it. See you later. Alright, it's about time. It's gonna get dark very soon. Got my crab caliper. It's time to check on the crab trap. There it is. Right at it. Oh well, that's the catch, guys. <laughs>
believe it or not, but that's our first ever self caught Dungeon Scrap. <laughs> Daily limit of um, Dungeon Scrap in that area is 4. Um, you always want to make sure that you only harvest the males, and this is how you can tell if it's a male or a female. Big guy! Checking out some potential nice spots here. All the way back there is our sweet little campsite. Just picked up the trap, put it back into the water because we got lucky and caught one. So we said we might as well gonna give it another shot. Yeah, looks pretty sweet over here. Some nice rock structures, not too deep, about 10 meters. So, some Slightly more shallow patches with some sandy slopes. Might be good for crab. See, it's beautiful out here this morning. Everybody's getting changed and ready. And then we're gonna take the boat and head that way. Hello and thanks for tuning in. Um, first of all I want to say I'm sorry for being a little bit inactive lately. I had and still have a lot going on personally and um, I couldn't edit my videos as often as I wanted to. Um, so this video is still from back in February. Um, I had a few really cool adventures in the last couple of months of which I will edit the video soon. <laughs> Um, also stay tuned for the second part of this video. Uh, you don't want to miss out on that delicious taco recipe. So yeah, visibility is looking pretty good. Um, we snacked some sea urchins there right away. Um, really big guys. I also found that red rock crab, which I don't have on GoPro, but as you can see, it's a male. Um, I did measure it with my crab cal caliper um, and it was big enough. So legal size right there. Always make sure that you only grab the male ones, just like with the Dungeness crab and the uh, king crabs. All right, let's catch something for dinner.
Sure. Nice, that's awesome. <laughs> So I got my two greenling pretty early into the dive session. The daily limit is three, but I wasn't going to get more than my daily limit, um, as the others were spearfishing too. This dive spot was pretty fishy, um, filled with really big greenlings and also lots of rockfish, which are currently closed um, to spearfishing and line fishing though. My second greenling must have just eaten a fish or maybe the little fish in the gills was a parasite. I'm not sure about that. Um, definitely the first time I have seen something like that. Uh, the little fish must have been dead for a while though. Other than that, it's really good to see so many sun stars around. They eat all the sea urchin, which are a big problem in the Pacific Northwest. I got bets on the dungeon Did you pick that one with your hand? The, yeah, the red rock crab has bigger claws though. First of all, um, it was amazing to go diving with that little dinghy. Um, we had a big Dungeness crab in the trap this morning and another really big one um, right after the dive. I also found a red rock crab, which is a legal size. Um, and we found 
uh, or we took, there are so many, <laughs> we took three sea urchin. Um, all these guys have never tried sea urchin. Paul and I are the only one that have ever had that before. So um, yeah, we wanted to have that as a little appetizer before dinner. Um, we're gonna make fish tacos. Um, and then with the crab, we're either gonna do that tonight as well, or maybe for breakfast tomorrow to put that on our breakfast sandwiches with some egg. I don't know, um, we'll see. We have lots to eat, definitely for six people, it's a good amount. Uh, we just see what the day brings tomorrow. Um, we have to be back to work on Tuesday though. So let's go back to the fire and warm up.